Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Hi, I'm Brittany. Brittany, where are you from, Brittany? Delaware County. Okay, how old are you? I'm 25. 25 years old? Okay, okay, okay. Um, how you feeling this morning? I'm doing good. Feeling good. Better. Yeah. What brings you out here to uh, Kensington? Same shit, just like curiosity, I guess. Not knowing anything really. Got sucked in three years ago, so. You got sucked in three years ago? Have you stayed or you left and came back type of deal? Um, no, like one and off. I had my own spot and I started coming down here and being like really homeless for the past year, so. Okay. Yeah, so what brings you out here? Um, just getting out of the house, just being in the house, just being in the who introduced you to this area? A friend or? Uh, an ex. An ex, ex boyfriend? Okay. Wow. Um, is it hard being out here every day or are you just like immune to it? No, it's every day. It's starting to get harder and harder. Okay. What's your drug of choice? Uh, crack cocaine and heroin. Crack cocaine and heroin? Which one do you use more often? Uh, the crack. Okay. Right okay. 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 From a day to day basis, how much do you spend on your habit? Um, up to like $200 a day, I'd say. $200 a day? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you, how can you afford the... Um, I either go boosting, you okay. know, hustle, works, every day, just anything. Just anything to hustle out here. Anything to hustle out here, okay. Yeah, man. See, it's really rough out here, man. It's hard out here, you know. You have family back home that miss you and care about you? When the last time you talked to your family? A couple months ago. Actually. Couple months ago. Yeah. Do you have a cell phone? Uh, no, I don't. No. Okay. Yeah. So it makes it hard to even get in touch with them, right? I don't have an ID for one of those uh, sign-up phones, but I'm working on that. You working on that? Yeah. You should working on something. Yes. You should working on something. Um, what was your hobbies before your addiction? Um, I was working actually. I oh. enjoy working a lot. Okay. Uh, I go fishing with my parents. Weekends. I'll okay. go out with my brother, mom and stuff, shopping. <laughs> okay, do you consider yourself a country girl or nah, in the country, no city? Nah, urban? Urban. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Fishing is a hobby though. It is, I know. Yeah. I love um, fishing. How many siblings you have? I have two. Two? Just a brother. Just a brother? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. One hand. How was y'all's relationship? It's good. It's I good? mean, it, it fell off a little bit because he's in addiction too. He just started. Oh, uh, oh, he just started. Yeah, he has two baby girls too, so they're they're really young and. Oh, so it's really rough, right? Yeah. Dang, wow. Do you see him around here? Is he stuck out here or? I see him here and there, yeah. Do y'all speak or is this a little quick? No, so fast. Yeah, and it's horrible. That it's like that. Smoke a cigarette in the interview too. You're good. Uh, can I use my yeah, you're good. Thank you. We're out here, y'all. Do you ha was it like any gateway drug that led you to your addiction? No. No? Did you go like full throttle, or you're not blaming the other drugs? I'm not blaming the other drugs. Okay. And I could blame, you know what I mean, my ex, but actually, in all reality, it was all me, you know, not knowing. I, I heard about heroin, everyone hears about it, but, like, never knows what, like, really comes to the whole part of the addiction to it. It's fucking, it's horrible, and it's, it's something I want to wish for nobody. Do you make sure you feed yourself out here, get food and stuff like that? What's your favorite food? Chicken. Chicken? Mm -hmm. Fried chicken, baked yes. chicken? Yes. Fried chicken. Fried chicken, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, um. Well, you know, um, I do appreciate you coming for this interview. Thank you. I know it ain't always easy, you know, because, like, this is a rough life, you know, but me, I feel as though that, um, you shouldn't treat somebody wrong because anybody could be in a position. In a, in a blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye. You up, like, yeah, I'm gonna be, you know, I mean, a, a homeless fucking addict on the street. Yeah. Right. Because we get the looks every day, but it's right. like something that you gotta go through to actually, like, gain a perspective of. Because if you, God forbid, like, anyone gets in a situation and, and you get through it, you know what I mean? You, you have lessons and stories to tell about it, you know?
What's your favorite color? Red. Red? Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> I just like red. You just like red? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a good color. Um, do you got friends that you be seeing out here that's running the streets with you, like, in the same predicament? Actually, but not the same anymore. It's like uh, the old crowd went out and like the new faces and everything. It's new faces. It's like different, yeah. Is there a lot of overdoses and stuff out here? Yeah, there actually is. Everything that like you're mixing and seeing is that it's just like all you don't know what you're going into. It makes it worse, huh? Yeah. Have you ever OD before? Yeah, I have. You have? How many times? Twice. Twice? Is it a scary feeling or what? Right, right, right. So you got to get to think about it. Right. You know? you know anybody that you was running like the streets with and um they're not here no more, like they passed away from yeah. the drugs? Yeah. Did it hurt? Yeah. There's someone that there's some people that like actually that I've been out here with and that just disappeared and I just you don't know if, you know, you don't hear from them. Right. How do you think your family will feel like if they see this video? I hope they don't. You hope they don't? But, um, yeah, you. you think about them all the time? All the time. I miss them. You think they're out here looking for you or yeah. they just waiting for you to kick it, right? Um, kind of, yeah, more, more so kicking it, but like, um, it, when they haven't heard from me for this long, it's like, almost like, it's why, you know what I mean, why I talk to them anymore. Maybe they're better off, like, not stressing as much as me being there. Right. Have you joined any rehabs or anything? Yeah, I have. Um, um, the first step over there, they do the meetings. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been to one, actually, in a while. But um, other than that, I've been looking into, like, the outpatient for, like, subs and methadone. I've never been on a methadone. But you never have? But you're trying to get on it, right? Yeah. I'm you're trying, trying something. See if it, yeah. You're trying something. You're trying something. You ever been arrested think, before? Yeah. I actually got arrested uh, a couple weeks ago, and I had a warrant I had to take care of anyway. So, like, I, I got that taken care of. So that's good. Right, right, right. Talking. Right, right. I know that's a hassle as well. Yeah. How you feel about the government and, the, and their connection with the poverty here? Yeah, it's, it's very sick. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's sick. It's, it's sick? Different. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You think some of this is their fault? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be someone's fault, right? Right. The, you, the streets, the, the, this shit is a mess. Yeah, it's a it mess. It wouldn't be like this if it, if it was a different. And they know it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. Yeah, it's a mess out here. It really is. Um, do you see good people come out of here, like give out food and stuff like that? All the time. Yeah. Right down by the park, they do. Yeah, I heard like. I, it might sound yeah. crazy, but I heard somebody say like this is the best place to be home is because they always giving out food. You know what? <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy. I heard that too just recently. Right. Like they're like, um, we got it good down here because you know there's always like a place to get like your your uh, hygiene products, your food, and everything else. So uh -huh. like, to be honest, and when you actually need need something, it's yeah. never there. It's, it's never there. there. No. Wow. You know, like, and and the places that do help you, yeah, like um, like get it take like take advantage of the fact that that's the place to help, and right. they kind of cut off like certain type of fundamentals you know what i mean like some places give out clothes and you know what i mean like do like fucking the food all day every day and then it's like there's no clothes no donations and there's like the meals like every like two hours and they cut it, cut it off and shit like it like almost like we're in jail like they have control it's, it's fucking crazy every day it gets worse and worse and every day it just gets like more like easier to be set up right you know? so in do, a way it's good do you feel like people treat treat you guys less human out here yeah, they like do. they're not human mm -hmm. it's wrong right yeah, they do. it's wrong because like i said before anybody could be in this mm -hmm. position and you guys are still human yeah a lot of y'all most of y'all had lives beforehand you know and y'all went through traumatic situations yeah. that so, could have caused so y'all brought y'all here to lead y'all here yeah. you know no one knows what someone's gone through so I, I no one know even though they have a strong feeling about addiction and you know what i mean like they we can you know what i mean wake up one day go go get a job and wake up from it but it's easier said than done you know you gotta be patient and let time take its course and i, and I know a lot of people that 
you know, got clean. Yeah. You ain't know they used to be out here. Yeah, you know, and it's faith. There's people that give out food and stuff. Yeah, and cause it's faith, out, it's, it's faith out it's faith out here. You know, know. it's faith. You know, there's um, like um, seals and stuff that give out food. Right. You know what I mean? That they they they're the first ones to lock you in and, and call you a junk. You know when you come. It, it's just like all like um, what is it like a the hard love? Yep. Sometimes you do gotta give it. You know, set set a respect boundary, and then you know what I mean. After that is whatever, but right. You know what I'm saying. What's the scariest thing that ever happened to you out here? <laughs> scariest thing that ever happened to you. Scariest thing that ever happened to you out here? Um, a lot of females go through like rape and like being like, you know, locked in somewhere and like no way to get out. Like, yeah, um, wow. it's like because of we get it, uh, we get into situations where, you know, um, like people coming up to you and, and then literally like, like harassing you and shit, like bullying you out of like sitting somewhere, you know what I mean? Like, that shit, like, awful. And, all, and hearing all the stories about, like, the, the Kensington, you know, and shit. The killings and shit. It's like, it is scary to be out here by yourself. It is scary. You said it's scary out here, right? How, how, how can you describe the murder rate, the homicide rate here in Kensington? I know it's high because a lot of people aren't here no more. They're just like up and disappearing. But I try not to like this. I don't, I don't even want things on. Yeah. Overdosing and shit too. It's, it's a lot. It's just a lot of chop. Yeah. And no one knows any, like no one just, you know what I mean? Did you hear about the serial killer they said that was out here in Kensington? <laughs> um, the one with the van? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, they might write a book on that or some, you know, it's crazy. They didn't catch him, did they? They didn't catch him yet. Uh, yeah, he, he brings you in the van and, like, you know, starts driving so fast and, you know, can't get out of the shit. Wow. Wow. How you stay warm on, on some cold nights when you're sleeping out here? Most people leave, like, clothes and shit. Right. Most of the time I carry, like, Something at least. Yeah, some clothes stay warm, yeah. right? That's a nice bag, though. I found it in the parking lot. Honestly. You found it in the parking lot? Yeah. yeah. All my stuff, every time gets stolen. Every time. It doesn't matter. It gets stolen every single time? Every time. If you had three wishes, what would it be? Three wishes. What would it be? I don't know. You don't know. Is it hard to think that because of the environment you in? Uh, and no, like not really. It's just like if I only get three, I want to pick the the good one. The good one. So it's hard to pick. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to pick. Thank you for this interview. I appreciate Thank it. You. I hope you get well. You. I hope you get the help you need. I wish the best for you. I'll be praying for you. Yes. You could kick it. You could kick this addiction. It's possible. You're still young. You got a chance, you know? Anyone can. Anyone can. In the mind. In the mind. Remember that. God bless.